Hello, in this video, we're going to show you how to upload a multifamily for sale listing into the Remni RLS using RealTMX, which is one of many third-party RLS vendors. Hit Add New, Listing, and then this is the address. If you take a look, it says you couldn't find any similar addresses. Would you like to submit this as a new building? So yes. This is a standalone building. Probably hasn't been listed before. Make sure you indicate that it's for sale. Property type. If you take a look through the listing details, this is what we have. You can see that it is a development property. It's two family houses. You can also take a look at the photo, for example, to get a better sense of what you're looking at. So you can put house. Category, always exclusive. And then put the number of uh, beds and bats that the owner has told you. You'll see that it's four bedrooms and two bats, eight rooms total. Eight rooms total. Copy and paste the price. You see it automatically removes the commas, which is great. For select area, if you're unsure, simply Google the address and ask the question, which neighborhood? So by a quick Google search, this appears to be in Bay Ridge. You can search for the zip code as well. It actually shows it's in Bay Ridge, but you can always click into the maps, take a look yourself. You can see that it says Bay Ridge is the closest neighborhood. For distribution, hit select all. You want to make sure you check Rebney RLS, Universal Cobroke. You don't have to worry about the featured part. description. There's not too much the seller gave us to go off of, so use this. Copy paste. As you can see, the seller gave us very minimal details, private outdoor space, gas, heating, and north. If you don't see private outdoor space here, just ignore it. Perhaps you will see it here actually in unit amenities. You see here outdoor space. And then for views and exposure, see they only provided exposure north. For conditions, since this wasn't provided to us, just put fair or good. And then upload your photos. You click upload photos, this appears. You can drag and drop files here or click here to add files from your computer. Try to drag them since the owner didn't label them in a reasonable order of what they want. So then just use your best judgment and order them in some attractive uh, ordering. Better photos in the front, obviously the best photo should obviously be the first photo. If you have a virtual tour link, enter it here. If you don't, leave it blank. And then for the fee field, very important. Here it says percentage offered to buyer's agents is 2%. You always want to confirm that a listing agreement has been signed and it also says 2%. If you take a look at your tickets, you'll see that indeed there is a signed listing agreement you've been CC'd on. You take a look, this is the same address. And you go down to commissions and you see that it's 2%. This is the most important field. And of course you see that it's been signed on the 19th. So this 2% will go here under Cobroke because this is the most important field. This is what we're offering to, uh, to buyer's agents. For here, this doesn't really matter. This, this usually, they assume automatically that it's the same uh, percentage or double. So if you put four here, it'll automatically say two. So this doesn't really matter. You can just leave it as is. Most important is to get this right, 2%, and just know that they will automatically times two here. So 2%. 
and now you're ready to submit the listing. But if you scroll off, you'll notice that we actually have a few fields that uh, are red, meaning that they are required. So exclusive start date should always be today. Same logic as the others. It should always be plus 365 days um, from the date that the listing agreement was signed. So the listing agreement was signed on the 19th, as we showed, plus 365 using Excel. Very easy. You'll show that it is actually August 19th, 2023. Availability, always select immediately. Agent notes access. Always say email listings at houseit.com. Now, if you go through, you'll notice that they gave us a few bits of additional information that we didn't actually include anywhere. Um, so let's try to include these. For example, square footage, lot square footage, and monthly real estate taxes. Now, notice that this monthly real estate taxes figure. Uh, as we discovered in a prior video, is actually off. So if for some reason you're unsure about it, just check with the uh, with the seller whether they meant uh, is, is this annual or if it's monthly because this 7,600, this seems like an abnormally high figure for a monthly real estate tax. It's pretty logically impossible. Um, so you can always double check with the seller or us if you're unsure. But this we've already confirmed through public records that this is the essentially the annual figure. So if you want a monthly figure, you divide it by 12. You see here that they ask for real estate taxes monthly, so you want to divide that number by 12. Round it to the nearest number, 638, much more reasonable. So for square footage here, this is the interior square footage, not the lot square footage. So in input that without any commas. Since this is a two-family home, you should put that here. It's two families. but uh, And then for lot size, you actually have it, 5,000. So these aren't required fields, but if you do see it, you might as well include it. And then hit Submit Listing. And you see here that the listing has been uploaded. You can in fact take a look at all images here. Go back, and this is the listing. You can see it in My Listings. Most importantly, the co-broke is correct. And then email this listing to the seller. Have something like this just to tell them that your listing is uploaded into the Revenue RLS. And then show full address, including apartment number. Copy yourself, hit email. Now, because when you email this listing to the seller, it shows everything pretty much except the co-broke, which is very important of a detail, you do need to take a screenshot of this when you reply to the seller that their listing has been uploaded with a screenshot of this. Or you can save the screenshot as an attachment. So when you reply to the seller, you can include the can response for new listing upload notification. And you'll see what this looks like just as a refresher. Your listing has been uploaded in the next steps. And just include that screenshot we talked about at the bottom so the seller can audit for themselves that you've done as requested. So there you have it. This is how you upload a uh, for sale listing, multifamily for sale listing into the Rebney RLS using RealTMX. We hope you found this video helpful. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions. And of course, if you're looking to buy or sell property in New York or Florida and you want to save money on broker commission, check us out at www.houseit.com to learn more. And if you're a real estate agent in the New York metro area or South Florida and you want to learn how to work with our vetted buyer and seller clients, please check out our careers page at houseit.com. My name is Chris at Houseit, and we'll see you on the next one.